How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Nasty Beer Reviews back with another beer mail. But not just another beer mail. Another beer mail from fucking Ralph. Fucking Ralph. Jesus Christ, dude. He don't mess around. Um, he sent me a box of beer about a month and a half ago. Maybe two months ago. Two beers. Um, one was uh, from Brewery uh, Civil Society. And the other one was from a Belgian-centric brewery from Florida, um, Barrel Monks. Uh, since then, he has sent me in, I think this is the third or fourth one. He sent so many in a month and a half, I can't even keep up. I haven't even sent him beer. I told him I was going to send him some stuff back, and he's just hammering me stuff. So thank you very much, Ralph. Super cool dude. I've done a bunch of his uh, beers here um, on my channel. I know he's actually sent beers to Joe from Joe's Arcade. Uh, he's done a couple of them, so go check his reviews out there, the stuff that he sent. And, uh, yeah, another box. He said this one's a little bit of a mix of stuff that I might have had before. It was more kind of a, hey, enjoy the holidays kind of thing. So I appreciate it, dude. I actually put together a little box today of stuff that, um, going to be coming your way. So hopefully you'll be, uh, tickled pink when I send that out eventually. It should go out, hopefully, Monday. Anyway, let's dive into it and see what you got. You guys get to watch me kind of tear into this. He said the packaging wasn't all that fantastic, so I'm probably going to make fun of him. Uh, but you know what, Ralph? I'm going to make fun of you anyway, dude, because I like to make fun of people. And honestly, if I make fun of you, that means I'm probably like you. Uh, <laughs> if I don't talk to you or don't say anything, that means I probably don't like you. Whatever. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Man, a lot of space in this one. I want an empty space. Oh, he just threw these in here. This is like, I could pour these out. You can't even see me, but I could totally just pour these out. Oh, big beer. And it would just tumble out. It's not like anything that's been, like, properly packed. Thank you very much. God damn it, Ralph. Why do you suck sending me all this beer? I'm not properly packaged. Ugh. What am I going to do with you? Jesus Christ, dude. You're the weirdest dude I've ever met in the world. Jeez. Another one. Another one. Look at that. So, Merry Christmas to me. Or Festivus. I'm more of a Festivus guy. So, Merry Festivus to me. How about that? So, what do we have here? We have a small bottle. We have cans and cans and cans and stuff. I don't even know where to start here. Let me take a little sippy poo. I'm going to shove all this off to the side. We'll end with the big bottles last because... That's what I do. Under all the bottles last week for the deli. So bottles off. Cans. Cans, 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 and cans. Let's just start with the cans. So here we go. Now these are these are packaged. Absolutely fantastic. Wait till you see how I send beers out. I just kind of wedge them into a box and hope for the best. So beer numero uno we have. Civil Society. I knew I was going to get some stuff from them. Um, he actually said he was going to send them off. Actually, this is still cold. How cool is that? Um, must have been left in the truck overnight over here. And it was a perfect temperature to send beer. So that works out. This is their double dry hopped weapon of choice India Pale Ale. They don't eat their cans, so I don't know when this is from. Some 0.5% alcohol by volume. It's a hop with bullets in it. Like it's not a shooting range. So there you go. Beer number one. Do, do, do. I'll push you guys over there. There you go. Man. Beer number two. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh! Another, another civil society jammer it is their double dry hopped juice. Uh, it's a double India Pale Ale, 8% alcohol by volume. Done and done. Uh, label wise, you know, just green waters dropping into orange juice. So, hmm, I wonder if that beer is juicy. We're gonna find out. So, do, 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 come on. I know you guys love this. I just, it's, I, I don't have it in me to like kind of like open everything up and then kind of do an unboxing and be like, hey, look, I'm all surprised. Look at what I have here. I have to do it organically. Oh, Pulp Friction. Great name. Uh, another, another civil society, but it is a collab with Rar Brewing. Um, Pulp Friction, American Wheat Ale, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, yeah, I love the name. Uh, they do 
uh, their pulp. I've had their pulp. Um, and uh, I dug it. What's the word I'm looking for here? The civil society stuff comes off to me like they're trying really hard to make somebody else's beer. A couple of them kind of gave me kind of hints of they're kind of breaking out of that. And again, that's just my perception. So, you know, I've had the pulp. I dug it, but hopefully this one kind of brings a little bit of kind of a uh, little twist on it. The claps I've had from them are actually really good. Now, does it mean that the other breweries are bringing a better influence in? I don't know if necessarily that's the case. But I know it's just, uh, you know, a different perspective sometimes can make great things out of stuff you've already had. So. Anyway. Let's see. And we have... Ooh. Bella's Last Dance. This is an Imperial Stout. See, now, that's kind of cool. I haven't had stout from these guys yet. It's an uh, uh, Imperial Stout, 9% alcohol by volume. Again, Civil Society. It's kind of like one of those 80s kind of, um, what do they call them? Kind of glamour shot things. They used to do in the 80s for girls, but it's got like a dog, which I assume was Bella. What, what is that, a Frenchie? Is that a French Bulldog? Is that what that is? Yeah. So, I think it's a French Bulldog. Yeah. do 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 do, -do. Off camera. Look at me talking to people off camera. How about that? My beautiful future wife sits behind me and, and laughs at me while I do this. Fresh pulp. Okay, there's so many pulps. Another civil society joint. 6.3% alcohol by volume. Hops. Look at that. So many hops. And the last can we have. Hmm, I wonder if it'll be a civil society. Not that I'm cleaning at all in any form or fashion. I actually do caught a glimpse of it through this, and I actually, well, I know kind of what it is, because he actually wrote me last night and kind of commenting on this beer, which I'm kind of excited about to try, which is their second anniversary beer. They just had their second anniversary. They actually had a bunch of breweries from up my way come down there, and they had like kind of like a little festival. Uh, Equilibrium is there. A couple other breweries were there. And this is their Double India Pale Ale. It's a second anniversary beer. Da, 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 da. And that'd be that. Do you assume, maybe I'm thinking of a different beer. This is Double India Pale Ale. I thought it was Belgian influence, but I could be wrong. Anyway, there you go. Look at that. Civil Society jams all around. So, off to the bottles. Little teeny little bottle to get a kick it off first. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Du, 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 du. Oh, Le Chouf. Uh, it's the Nice. Uh, and, uh, and, and I don't know. It's N apostrophe ice. I don't know how you pronounce that. They're Le Chouf. It's the Belgian dark. Pretty much their Christmas beer. I've had this before, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's been a very long time since I've had this. 10% alcohol by volume. Um, it's best before uh, February 2019. I don't know, don't remember how Lashouf dates their beers. I don't know if that means this is two years old or it's or it's um, less than a year old or a couple years old. I used to go by the, the five year old with a lot of Belgians, but it seems like it's changed out of late. My best guess is that this is was bottled in February 2008. 17 so it's almost a year old that'd be my guess but man i know what this beer is i can see it through the plastic i've had this many old times oddly enough i'm not quite sure if i reviewed it i'll have to go back and look um if i did i might re-review it anyway because it's nice to kind of revisit beers and we're getting that time and place that you um kind of revisit some beers but saint bernardus it's their christmas ale i have not had this god in a couple years this is one of my you know more favorite um kind of christmas ales to be perfectly honest with you and i actually said that in a review i don't think i posted yet i think i'm posting it today so it's not like ralph even knew that he just kind of sent it off being the nice guy that he is so like i said i don't know if i, if I reviewed that or not i don't know i did didn't that's pretty awesome Oh, see, now my wiener's moving a little bit. Um, yeah. This is fucking fantastic. I have not had this 
And what I'm holding in my hands is Gudendrak, which is one of my favorite Belgian beers, but it's still Cavados cast version. Apple brandy suckers. That's what I'm talking about. I love apple brandy barrel. It is by far and away my favorite spirit barrel when it comes to beers. So that, my friends. Oh, Ralph. You speak to me so well. Is that on camera? Close enough. And then one last fleeting opening. I use that word wrong, but whatever. Oh, you got to take another little sip. It's a long unboxing, so... What do we have here? Oh, I know what this is. I haven't had it in a bit. This is another one of my more favorite of beers. Christmas beers. Guden Carlos. It's their Noel. I'm telling you what. This beer is tasty as hell. Uh, Hank Anker is one of my favorite breweries. Uh, Belgian breweries. Um, a lot of people know them through the Lucifer. Um, that is like the, probably their most popular beer. Um, but then the Hentanker has the Guggen Carlos series. Um, the whole baseline of that series is fantastic. Um, whether it be, you know, the single, the double, the classic, whatever. Uh, but then, uh, if you've watched AMA reviews, they make a series, uh, the Guggen, uh, Guggen, uh, Guggen, Guggen Carlos, um, Van de Kaiser, and then they do a red and a blue. And one is kind of like a Belgian golden, I believe. I'm not a big fan of the red. I like it. But the blue is by far and away one of my favorite Belgians in the history of mankind, especially with some time on it. But their Noel is quite fantastic. Um, their Easter uh, one is absolutely great. So this is this is a fantastic beer meal. I mean, this is all of this is going to be super fun to kind of break through. Uh, I will try to review all of these and uh, get them out in short order. Um, I don't know. It might take me a bit with the civil society stuff. Um, these, uh, I might drink a couple of these and not review them. I kind of might take these and, um, well, the Calvados one is definitely getting reviewed, but the ones that I've had before, I want to review them, but sometimes when people send you beers and, and stuff like that, sometimes they want you to just enjoy them and that's kind of the sentiment they kind of sent off. So I'll probably do that with some of them, but, um, thank you very much, Ralph. I mean, uh... I will never be able to send you the beers that you send me, but I will do my best to get something out. Um, like I said, I have a fun little, what I think is a fun little package going out, so hopefully it goes out Monday and you enjoy those. But, yeah, there you go. Awesome little boxing. Hops, Christmas, good beer. That's what it's all about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy me reviewing most of these, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.